Hi everybody, I'm Erin. I'm back to do my demonstration speech. Today I've chosen to do my speech on how I make my protein smoothie that I drink every morning. So the first ingredient that goes into my smoothie is this product by Level 1. It's called, not Level 1, the product itself is First Form. It's their Level 1 protein powder in the flavor German chocolate cake. So I really like this protein because uh, it doesn't leave you feeling bloated, it doesn't make you gassy, and it's also really easy to digest. So I use one scoop of this, and there is 150 calories in it, plus it has 23 grams of protein. So I'll put one scoop of this into my cup. One scoop. Okay. So that's the first ingredient. The second ingredient that I use is also by First Form. It's called their Opti Greens 50, and it is this green powder. I use two scoops of it. It's really good for if anyone travels. This is a scoop size. Okay, so I put two scoops of that in there. So I really like this because if you travel a lot and you feel jet lagged or bloated from the plane ride, this helps you de bloat. And it also has 11 servings of fruits and vegetables. So if you have a hard time getting in enough fruits and veggies throughout the day, this will definitely help. So I use two scoops of that, and that has 28 calories in it. The next ingredient that I use is a banana. I usually like them a little bit more, less ripe than this, um, but it'll do. So I use the banana just for a little extra flavor and also just to thicken it up a little bit. So I put my banana in there. You guys can't see that. Okay. My banana. And a medium banana has about 90 calories in it. So that's that. The next thing I put in it is this powdered um, peanut butter. The reason I choose powdered peanut butter over regular peanut butter is because it has far less fewer calories and also grams of fat. So in a normal creamy peanut butter, a serving is about two tablespoons and you get, there's 190 calories with about 10 grams of fat, but in the powdered peanut butter, two tablespoons is 50 calories and there's one and a half grams of fat. So it's a lot better for you and it tastes the exact same. So, yeah. so I put two tablespoons of that in there. And my last ingredient that I use is this lactate milk. The reason I use lactate is because it's 100% lactose free. I do have an allergy to lactate, so I try to stay away from what am I doing? I try to stay away from lactate as much as possible. So I put a cup of that in there. And then to blend it, I will be using this Nutribullet. So I put everything into my cup here, and then I put the top on with the blades in there. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to blend it. Okay, so I just got done um, mixing up my smoothie, and this is what it looks like. It's like a green color. Um, I decided it's not as thick as I would like, so I put an ice cube in it to thicken it up a little bit. Um, the whole smoothie has 378 calories, and that's a good meal. So if this protein is really good for if you're on the go, if you're a student, if you don't have time to cook a whole meal, this has everything that you need. It has the protein, the carbs, the fat, it's a well-balanced meal all in one smoothie. Um, and I forgot to mention, a question a lot of people have about the Opti Greens 50 is what it tastes like. And I actually think that it tastes like unsweetened green tea. Um, and you don't have to necessarily put it into a smoothie like this. Um, so you can actually just mix it in with cold water and mix it up and drink it just like that. It tastes like, like I said, unsweetened green tea. 
Um, but I like to put it in my smoothies. It kind of gets rid of the flavor a little bit if you don't like the flavor. I don't mind it, but some people don't like it. So that is that. That is my video on how to make a protein smoothie. I hope you guys like it and hope you try it.